One of America's former top cops has been outlining what lessons the Metropolitan Police can learn to tackle gang crime. Bill Bratton has served as the chief police officer in Los Angeles, Boston and New York. Now he's in London to advise the British government on gangs. And today he's been explaining his ideas to the Home Affairs Select Committee. Guy Smith has been listening to what he had to say. You're not going to do away with gangs, that's the reality. You cannot arrest your way to the problem. The police are not the solution. What you can do is control their behaviour. His policing credentials are world-renowned. Bill Bratton has headed up police departments in some of America's major cities, the last one, Los Angeles. There you go, Chief. Wonderful, thank you. Hours after being sworn in, the city experienced one of its bloodiest weekends with 14 murders. The reason? Gang violence. This morning, he was giving evidence to the Home Affairs Select Committee. He said he faced 400 gangs in L.A., amounting to an estimated 100,000 gang members. Good news for you is the idea there is much to be learned and that you're dealing with a much smaller problem. But the problem is there. According to criminologists, there are 170 active gangs in London. He warned not to repeat the mistakes of the LAPD. Most of its uh, modern history dealing with both the Latino and uh, African-American gangs, the approach was pretty much to do it on their own, not in partnership with other government law enforcement agencies or criminal justice agencies or with societal agencies. Like social services, probation or schools. But he also thought preventing the crime from happening in the first place was key. If you can stop the retaliation, you effectively stop 50% of the crime right there without the uh, tit-for-tat that goes on constantly among the gang members. And that sort of insight has won him fans this side of the pond. He has my respect. And should, it seems to me he should have our respect because in three different places, in really challenging circumstances, he made a difference. And some of that difference, as America's so-called super cop, was shared this afternoon with senior officers at Scotland Yard. This Thursday, the Home Office has invited him to offer advice at an international conference on gangs. Guy Smith, BBC London News. Police have released...